Joined alongside by the number one contender for the WEC Bantamweight Championship of the World, Dominic Cruz, he goes head-to-head -head against Brian Bowles for the WEC Bantamweight Championship of the World, WEC 47, this Saturday from the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, live and only on the Versus Network. Dominic, only two days away before your big fight, another opportunity in the WEC. Your thoughts on this huge matchup? Oh, I'm just excited to have the opportunity, man. I mean, I'm out here. The Arnold Classic is a huge event. Ohio's been really great to me, so I'm excited to fight here in Ohio. I'm not used to the cold. I'm from San Diego, and <laughs> I was born in, I was uh, raised in Tucson, Arizona, where, it's, where the heat does me a little bit better. I don't got much body fat, but you know what? Uh, I'm excited to be out here to fight for this title. Dominic, you haven't fought since August, but I know that you've been working with your game consistently and getting ready for this fight. Tell me about what you've been doing over the time that you've had to prepare for this big matchup. Haven't, fight since, haven't fought since August, but I know you've taken that time to prepare and get ready for this huge opportunity. You know, uh, since since I beat Benavidez, I had an idea I was going to get a title shot. So uh, I've been preparing for bowls since August, you know, um, really. Uh, I just worked a lot on my strength. Uh, just getting as big as I could in the offseason, excuse me, in between fights. And um, speed, footwork, I mean, just always making improvements on the things that I felt that I needed to get better at. Um, I've been working on 100% tenfold and uh, just to prepare to be the best world champion I could possibly be. Dominic, what are some flaws in the game of Brian Bowles that you feel you can bring to light this Saturday? Um, I I really, to be honest, I mean, he's a well-rounded fighter. Anybody who's got the belt in the WC is a well-rounded fighter. I mean, there's not really anybody who's one-dimensional anymore in our weight classes. So he doesn't necessarily have flaws. The key to, the, to winning this fight is going to be using my strengths to uh, execute my game plan, go through, look for the finish at the right, at the right points, and uh, make sure to uh, stay out of danger as much as possible. He fights forward, but also is a very dangerous counterpuncher with a tremendous right hand. You like to push the pace of a fight and are the aggressor in many of your fights. What are you going to try to do and what have you been practicing on to try to avoid that right hand and also his dangerous pinpoint counter striking? You know, his uh, counter striking is always, is always threatening. He's got good power. But, um, I mean, the key is just to keep, just to stay patient in there, you know. Uh, you got to stay patient. He stays patient when he fights, and that's why he gets people to, to come forward real hard and uh, make mistakes, and then he, can, he uh, executes on those mistakes. So I just need to make sure and stay, stay real uh, patient in there and uh, put my combinations together real crisp, clean, and stay quick, stay out of the way of, uh, of some heavy punches that he's going to be throwing. Dominic, this is not your first title opportunity in the WEC. You fought Uriah Faber a couple of years ago for the Featherweight Championship. What did you learn in that fight, and how much are you going to be able to take from that first experience that you're going to be able to use for your fight this weekend? Uh, I learned a lot from that fight, man. Um, I didn't really have a whole... A whole uh great team and stuff before I fought that fight so uh, it, it showed me uh, I needed to find a better place to train I needed to find a new training camp and everything else and I did that and uh, I also just I also just learned that losing is part of this sport man so um, I, I was able to take that loss and grow from it because of that and uh, work on the things that I needed to work on to become a better fighter and uh, make myself a more well-rounded fighter and I've done so since. When you began with the WEC, did you ever envision that the WEC would reach the heights that it has achieved? Obviously, big weekend, the Arnold Classic, Nationwide Arena, a great crowd expected on hand. What are your thoughts on the expansion of the WEC? Also, WEC going to pay-per-view in the month of April. Um, I always knew the WC was going to do big things, you know. Uh, I, that's why I, I try to jump on board as quickly as I could, you know. Um, WC is, is uh, involved with the UFC, you know, so anything that's involved in that kind of caliber of fighting is going to do something big. I'm super pumped about pay-per-view. Um, it's an opportunity for us lightweight, lighter weight guys to, to showcase our skills uh, all over the world and uh, for people to really start taking us seriously, I believe. You know, boxing at 135 and 145 has some of the biggest paydays and the biggest fights uh, known in in history and you know I, I truly believe that WC is going to bring the same thing to MMA. What can fans expect and also Dominic Cruz can you give me a prediction for your fight against Brian Bowles this Saturday night live and only on the Versus Network from the Nationwide Arena in Columbus Ohio. A prediction Dominic Cruz. Um, I predict a great fight that uh, with a lot of a lot of sparks being thrown and a lot of punches being thrown and a lot going on and uh, it's going to be a high paced fight. Somebody's getting knocked down that fight for sure. Dominic really appreciate it. We'll see you this Saturday. Thank you. Dominic Cruz, the number one contender for the WEC Bantamweight Championship of the World, joining us. Flying. What the hell was I talking about?